Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to do this leopard print with gel and how to mix the gels to match your dip powder or mixing gels in general, I guess. So this is what my nails look so far. I use Tropic Like It's Hot and Damselfly. Um, and then I used Coco Cabana for the white. And so what I've done is my three dips of, you know, powder, buff them and all that. So I'm trying to make a gel that matches Tropic Like It's Hot the best that I can because um, I don't have an exact gel. So what I'm going to do is just mix three gels together and hope I get the color I'm going for. Um, and I'll link all the colors in the description of the gels. But this blue gel, I'm only doing a tiny bit just to get that shimmer effect in it to try to recreate the, you know, the shimmer and sparkle inside of Tropic Like It's Hot. Otherwise, I wouldn't use the blue. I'm going to use this dark teal color, really pretty, and just a little bit because my first gel that I'm using is similar to the shade I'm going for. I just needed to darken it up a little bit. And then I'm just using a dotting tool. You could use um, a toothpick or anything to mix it to get the best you can. And to me, that looked pretty similar, so that worked for me. Didn't need to add anything else. And now that I have that, I'm going to try to recreate Damselfly. And Damselfly has a really pretty shimmer, too. So one of the gels I'm using, the SG-141, it has like a blue iridescent like sheen in it. And so that'll help me kind of get that color, that shimmer I'm looking for. Um, and mind you, it doesn't have to have the shimmer because it's I'm using it for leopard for the dots. So it doesn't, I just want the color to be the same. Um, and I'm going to try with these two first, which is pretty similar. But as I'm mixing, as you can see, it's a lot lighter than Damselfly. It's more pink toned. Um, so I wanted it to be a little more purple toned. So I'm going to add a drop of this dark purple, um, super pretty purple as well. Like I said, I will link all of the gels, all of the dips, everything in the description of the video if they're available. But as you can see, that little dot of purple mixed with that matched it up almost identical to the color of Damselfly. So I got my two gels that I want. So what I'm going to do now is now that my nails are already buffed, solidified. Sorry, this one kind of turned a little bit more green. So I'm going to add a tiny dot of teal, the darker teal, just to darken it back up a tiny bit. Um, but so for my nails, I just prepped them like normal. I did my three dips of color and then I um, solidified, buffed them smooth, buffed them to my liking and filed them and then solidified again. And now I'm just going in with my dotting tool and I'm just making dots of the different colors where I want my leopard spots to be. Obviously it's a fun nail so they don't have to be perfect. I'm doing kind of different size dots. Some are round, some are more like oblong shaped. Um, no particular order, nothing like that. I'm just kind of randomly placing them on there. Um, you could do them however you want, as big or as small as you want. I probably next time will do a few more <clears throat> excuse me, bigger and smaller, change up the sizes a little bit more. Um, but I really liked how they turned out. And I love that you can do this with any color. Um, classic leopard print, you know, with the black and browns and tans are my favorite. But since I got the dots done, I cured it for 30 seconds in my lamp. It's a 48 watt lamp, if that helps. And it's LED UV. So typically 30 seconds and I'm good. And then I'm just taking black gel and a smaller side of the tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and go around my dots and just to get that leopard effect with the black. Um, I kind of stagger it as you can see because I don't want them to be perfect. I want them to be kind of funky shaped just like leopard spots are. They're not perfect or exact, um, which is what's so fun about it. That's why this look is so easy to do. And there's different ways to do it. Sometimes I'll do the black leopard first. This time I did the color dots first. And I almost feel like it was quicker doing it this way with doing the color first and then the black over it. Um, but obviously do whatever works best for you. And if you don't think you can do this, I promise you can. Um, and just try it over a swatch stick or something first to practice if you're worried about it. But that's a good thing with gel too because once you put the gel on, it does not dry until you cure it so if you mess up just wipe it off and you can go again that's the such fun thing about doing accents with gel polish and designs with gel because it doesn't dry right away it gives you lots of time to play around um but yeah i'm just going to continue doing that 
just random spots of black around my colors. This is just black gel. <clears throat> and also you could do this with regular polish too. Um, I like doing it with gel because you can cure it. It's not going to smear um, because it's cured. Polish, you could top it with like a smudge-free top coat and then proceed as normal. Like sometimes I'll do my design, um, do a coat of base bond and then encapsulate with clear. But this, since I'm just doing gel, I didn't do all that. That's why I did all my dip process first. Um, so I didn't top coat my solid nails yet. I will show you how I solidify and top coat those. All I've done was solidify once and then buff them. And that's where I left off. And then same with my white nails. What I did was buff and then I solidified again. And I'm going to put gel top coat on those. I'll show you how I do the gel. But all these products are from Sparkle & Co. Oh. Now that's good. I'm going to cure that for 30 seconds. But all these products are from Sparkle & Co. I will link everything in the description. Um, so if you're interested in these products. Oh, as you can see, I added a few little random dots. Little tiny black leopard spots in my gaps. Cured that for 30 more seconds. And now that those are done and I'm happy with them, I'm going to take my gel base and my gel top from Sparkle & Co. I'm going to do my gel base, just a very thin coat over the whole thing. This coat of base isn't a hundred percent needed. I personally like doing it because it helps. I've noticed before if I do two coats of gel top coat, I get little divots or bubbles in my gel and it's not needed. Only one coat of top coats needed. Um, but I noticed too, that since I don't cap my edges because I use peel base, I don't ever cap the free edge and it'll chip on me. A little bit once in a while not all the time but sometimes it'll start chipping on me um, so I noticed with the gel base first it helps that top coat stay on because gel base even cured stays a little sticky and it just helps that um, gel top coat stay on your nail better it gives it something to kind of grip to um, just personal preference not required but now I'm going sorry a little out of focus but going over it with my gel top coat just to make a nice smooth finish and then I'm going to do that for both nails making sure I go around my cuticle which is also why gel is so good because it's so easy to clean up your cuticles with it because it won't dry without the light so yep yeah, just a tip nice even coats gel coat is easy it doesn't it's not streaky that's why I like sparkles um, it lays super smooth and now that that's done I'm going to cure that for a full 60 seconds there you go. Um, but also, if you order from Sparkle & Co. for the first time, use my name at checkout for a $9 credit. If you sign up for a subscription bag, which are now open until July 5th, um, use my name for an $18 credit. But I'll put all that info in the description of the video. And now I'm going to show you how to do my normal dip, how I finish that off. So this is solidify and top coat glossy 2.0 from sparkle this is my final coat of solidify just on all three of my solid nails and just enough you don't have to like saturate the nail it's just an if you do you have to wait longer between solidify and top coat um so doing this and i'm waiting about a minute what between one and two minutes typically around one minute and then i'm taking a lint free cloth or a paper towel and just wiping off any extra solidify that might be on there and then I'm going to go in with my Glossy 2.0, which is my favorite dip top coat. And I'm going to do a thin coat. Try to keep it, you know, to like two or three swipes if possible. But one coat, one thin coat of Glossy 2.0. And then I'm going to wipe my brush off and go in with the second nail. And as you see, I wipe my brush off on a paper towel before putting it back into the bottle. This way, any solidify that might still be on the nail, if it transfers onto my brush, I'm getting it off of there and not putting it back into the bottle where it will cause your top coat to get hard or goopy or stringy, and it could cause your top coat brush to get hard as well, and we don't want that. So just wipe it off before you put it back into the bottle. Um, the second coat, you can take a little bit longer to do. Take a little bit, you know, take your time because this is your final coat. You want it to look good. It can be a little bit thicker, but I would still try to keep it pretty thin. And then, yeah, so as you see, I did, you know, my fingers then immediately went back in with my second coat. So not much time between the two. 
And then that's what that looks like. And in two minutes, it'll be completely dry. And I didn't have to do this. I could have just done gel top coat on all of them, but I wanted to show you how I do gel top versus glossy 2.0. And then that's what they look like so far. And I hope you enjoyed this video. So there's my final look. Hope you liked it. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Let me know any kind of videos or tutorials you would like to see. And just leave a comment down below and let me know. Alright, deuces and smooches.